back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley. I run things here at Okrogal. We are talking all things Thrive Market today, my friends. I have posted one like Thrive Market haul video on my channel, but I have made three orders. So there are a lot of things that you have yet to see that I have purchased from them and I love them. I love their site, I love their app. I think it's super user friendly and I love the products that are available for people like me who are kind of toggling between keto and low carb. I am, I am eating a low carb diet, but I am still very much so interested in keto friendly goods as well. If you are unaware, Thrive Market is an online retailer that sells kind of everything. Um, they really take into consideration what the products they sell are made out of, ingredients, um, that type of thing. So you're really only gonna find like the best of the best on there. You can filter by diet. They have low carb stuff, keto stuff, paleo, Whole30. Um, they sell alcohol, they sell meat. They really kind of like have a ton of stuff in their online marketplace and that's one of the reasons why I love their site and their app is because you can really just like scroll and scroll and scroll and really look at what they have to offer which is a lot. You do pay a monthly fee with Thrive Market. It's $9.95 a month regardless of if you purchase things. If you don't, you will be charged that $9.95. I do have a code that's not special to me. Everyone has a code, but if you would like to use it, it'll be down in the description box. It saves you 25% and then I get some like thrift market money. I think I get 25 bucks that I can spend um, on the site. So buckle up, <laughs> all the disclaimers are out of the way. Buckle up, grab a drink, grab a, a cup of coffee, grab a glass of wine, grab a Vista Bay, AKA the Aldi brand White Claw, um, if you will. And let's get going because I literally have all of my, like my order history and I'm gonna go through everything and tell you guys, well, most things. I'm gonna go through most things and tell you guys what I thought of them. I'm not gonna go through the toddler stuff, like things that I bought for Daisy, um, which is mainly like snacks and a couple treat things. If you're interested in that, I can do a separate video, but, but for the sake of this video, I'm only gonna focus on low carb and um, keto items. I definitely still have a lot of these in my pantry, in my fridge, but some I don't, and I, I, the, the Virgo in me really wants like the continuity. So I will just be putting pictures of things up here as I talk about them. I didn't want to have like half of the things and then not have the other half and have to put up pictures. Like no, pictures for everything. Um, but let's jump in because we have a we have a lot to talk about. Okay, so the first things I'm going to be chatting about are what I picked up in that initial haul, which again will be in the cards. That was actually on my channel. I showed you everything that I got. Uh, and so I'm gonna go through those first. The first thing we have are the Asiago and Pepper Jack. I feel like I should <laughs> scoot over so there's more room for the picture. <laughs> um, the Asiago and Pepper Jack Cheese Crisps. Delicious, cheesy, spicy, crunchy, really enjoy. I have had those before. Um, they're just very hard to find. They're like a flavor that is like a diamond in the rough. Um, you don't see them very often. So if you like cheese crisps, but you also like spice, highly recommend. Next up we have the um, flackers, the doctor in the kitchen flackers, sea salt flax seed crackers. I will put those up here as well. I'm not gonna do this every time, but. Uh, uh, okay, these are good. However, when I initially posted this video, <laughs> a bunch of people were like, those are terrible. I didn't like those. They were gross, blah, blah, blah. I think they fit the place of like a cracker. They they definitely do the job of having like something crunchy, um, but it's different. It's a different texture. And once it's kind of like in your mouth, like it's seeds, like it's flax seeds, it's chia seeds. It does become a little gelatinous. So I like them, I use them in the form of crackers, they're not my favorite. Then we have the Thrive Market Spray Ghee. I am loving this stuff. I'm kind of like going back, back and forth between my Trader Joe's coconut oil spray and the ghee spray. I have both of those out on my counter right now. I love it. I mean, I love that it's ghee. I love that it's something that um, you know, I would normally eat on a low carb or keto diet and it's in the form of a spray. I just think that that's really cool and I have been using it a lot. I picked up Smart Sweets. I guess I'll touch on those. We love them. Um, the peach rings. I have mentioned before that they have changed their 
uh, like ingredient makeup where they're using allulose now and that does bump the carb count up. But being that I'm now low carb and not keto, it doesn't bother me as much. And those are our favorite. I personally don't care for any of the other smart sweets, the Swedish fish, the, um, the ones that are like Sour Patch Kids or like the gummy bears. I think there are ones that are like gummy bears, right? Uh, the peach rings are hands down my favorite. They're Cernan's favorite. And those are ones that we stock up on pretty often. So I would definitely repurchase those. Okay, the Yai's Thai Yellow Thai Coconut Curry. Absolutely amazing. We loved it. I made a curry dish with chicken and then I roasted radishes and used, as, used those as potatoes along with cauliflower rice. My favorite Thai dish is yellow curry and there's a specific place when we used to live in Seattle that we would go to and it was rice and potatoes and chicken and then just like drenched in yellow curry sauce and I loved it. So I kind of tried to like recreate that. I would definitely repurchase this I really really liked it the ingredients on this I mean the ingredients in all of Thrive's products to be honest are like very 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 clean but this was like <laughs> super clean and it had just the right amount of coconut like kind, that kind of like sweet flavor but then the curry flavor along with like spice um, I loved it all right next up is the primal kitchen steak sauce another winner I really enjoyed this um, I can't think of, there was another steak sauce I've tried that was more carb friendly than A1. I can't remember what brand it was, but I didn't care for it. And so I bought this Primal Kitchen one, hoping that it would, it would kind of do the job. And I really, really like it. It is very, the flavor is very close to A1. It's, it's a lot, um, thinner in in consistency uh but the flavor is there and i i highly recommend if you're if you're trying to find like a keto friendly steak sauce um this one is great and i'm looking at my like you know i'm looking at like the actual order history it was only 4.99 which i don't think is crazy um for something that's very clean and very keto friendly all right next up we have the poshi freshly marinated asparagus in rosemary and oregano i really enjoyed this too you guys know i i like my pickles. I like my pickled vegetables. I like my olives. I just like things like that. And the asparagus kind of falls into that category. I will say the texture, I, I like things that are like crunchy, like olives. I like when they're, when they're very firm. Um, same with like pickles or like I have in my fridge right now, the, um, the Rick's picks pickled green beans. Like I like when they're really crunchy. Uh, so these weren't so much that way, but the flavor was there. So I did enjoy them. I don't think that I would repurchase, but they were good. The Sir Kensington's Buffalo Ranch dressing is absolutely delicious. It, I mean, Buffalo Ranch, I do think you can make like on your own. You could make your own ranch and just grab like Frank's buffalo sauce and mix it. You could take pre-made ranch and mix it with buffalo sauce as well. I feel like that's really easy to make. And, and this is the, that's what this tastes like. It tastes like you took ranch and buffalo sauce and just mixed it together. It doesn't have any funky aftertaste. Um, it doesn't taste weird initially. Like it's really, really good. But when I tried it, it tasted like so authentic to combining those two things that I thought to myself, I could definitely, I could definitely make that on my own. All right, next up, the Thrive Market Pitted Green Olives in Zesty Italian, right up my alley. And I, I mentioned in a What I Eat in a Day video that I do prefer these over the Trader Joe's. Y'all know I like my Trader Joe's manzanilla olives in the green tin foil lee foiled pouch. I really like those. They're great for on the go. I love just being able to toss them in my purse when I go out with Daisy. I also just think they're an easy snack to grab even if you're just at home. But I like these ones better because of what I mentioned when it came to the asparagus. I like that these olives are more firm. Um, the, the Trader Joe's ones are very limp. Like I, I like I like the salt factor of them and I like the olive flavor, but they're very like kind of mushy and flat and the Thrive ones are like fabulous. All right, and then the last thing I'm gonna mention from this haul is the Union Charcuterie Chips. I got them in the Pepper Genoa, Genoa, Genoa. These were good. Um, 
the texture is really something to overcome. It, 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 it's just, and I think I mentioned this, I think when I did my haul, I tried one of them. It's very like gritty almost on um, the texture once you chew it. And they're $6.39 a bag. That's a small bag. It's not, we're not talking like a decent sized bag. It's a small bag. Uh, I would not purchase those again. I think Erin, over at Erin Does the Keto, I wanna say she liked the chorizo ones. So maybe I'll try to find the chorizo ones. I would try those um, because I wasn't disappointed by these, but it was just like, kind of like a womp womp. Um, now there were a couple things, the Brahmi snacking lupini beans. I still have not busted into, the, busted into those. And the organic coconut wraps. I haven't tried those either. So you'll have to look for those in like a what I eat in a day or maybe a grocery haul, I'll give like a little update. Um, but I just found that it was gonna be <laughs> impossible for me to film this video if I tried everything that I purchased. Um, so keep an eye out for those. But now we're gonna move on to another order that I placed uh, that I didn't film a haul on. Okay, so the next um, purchase that I made from Thrive Market was about two weeks after that initial uh, haul that I did. So in this uh, order, I picked up the Nut Pods Keto Creamers. This was the three pack. So it came with the French Vanilla, the Original, and the Hazelnut. I really, really like these. I bought these because someone suggested um, that I use them with my milk frother. They were like, nut pods are great. They, they foam up great in, in a milk frother. So I bought these. Little did I know that someone else commented and they were like, no, 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 no. It's not like the shelf stable nut pods. It's the, it's the ones that get refrigerated. Um, so these do not froth well. However, they are great as a creamer. Uh, they're very, very, very low calorie. So you can kind of like fudge it when it comes to the tablespoons that you wanna put in your coffee. And the flavored ones are flavored. Like when they say hazelnut, you can taste the hazelnut. When it's vanilla, you can taste vanilla. Love them. Okay guys, I, I'm sorry if it seems like I'm just like blowing through these, but we have a lot of products to talk about. If you want like further information about any of this stuff, or I don't know, you just want more of my take on it, definitely drop me a comment down below. Everything I'm mentioning will be linked in the description box. Um, so if you want like nutrition facts or ingredient information, you'll be able to access all that stuff. But if you wanna ask me anything that maybe I glossed over, definitely drop me a comment down below. Next, we're gonna talk about the Yai's Thai Spicy Thai Relish. Now, Yai's Thai is the brand that also made the um, curry sauce and they do a spicy Thai relish. It is the most delicious, it is spicy. Like they're not, when they say spicy, they mean spicy. It is very spicy. It's not a lingering spice, um, but like upon initially eating it, like, whoa, it is a kick in your mouth. Um, and it's relish, so it kind of has like a sweeter tone to it. You can taste the cucumbers. I took one bite of this and I was like, I need to give that to my mom. This is like right up her flavor profile. Um, when she was a kid, she lived in Thailand for a while. So she's all about like Thai flavors, Thai spices. Um, so I ended up gifting it, gifting it to her. But if you, if you like that kind of relish flavor, kind of sweet with the savory um, and you're into spice, I can't, this is like in, in my head, like th this is in my top three products that I have found from them. Um, this was just like, this just knocked it out of the park. All right, speaking of top three products I wanna mention, the Wild Zora Soup Mix in Lemon Chicken. I love this, I love this stuff. Now, it's not, it's not cheap. It's $15.99 and I think you get, let, let me check for you guys, I think you get, yes, you get eight pouches. So it basically comes in a box and you get eight little individually sealed um, pouches. And essentially it's like a dehydrated soup mix or freeze dried soup mix. So you tear it open, you pour it in a bowl, you pour hot water over it. Now, the thing with keto is I feel like when it comes to soup, it's all either just straight up broth or it's so like heavily cream based. And I like that this was kind of right in the middle. It tastes very, it doesn't have cream in it, but it tastes very rich, um, almost like it's creamy, and it does kind of have a, have a broth component to it. Now, while I think you could eat this on its own, 
And while it is called lemon chicken, the pieces of chicken in this are like <laughs> so small and very few and far between. So what I have been doing is I have been using it as a base. I think I've used like five pouches. So I've had it multiple times. I pour it in the bowl, I pour the hot water, and then I add my own diced chicken and I add like riced cauliflower or I add my bonza chickpea pasta. Um, you know, a half of a serving of that bonza pasta is like 14 net carbs. So as someone that's doing low carb, that works perfectly. But cauliflower rice would be great if you're still doing keto or you are doing keto. So I really, really enjoyed this. She also makes a, a um, Tuscan, why do I wanna say Tuscan tomato? Or maybe it's just Tuscan chicken. A Tuscan one that I really, really wanna try. I just think it's a great, like, vehicle to make a really heartier soup. This is not something I would be able to just be like, I'm eating this for lunch, like just the pouch. No, it needs it needs more protein, it needs more something. I, I also think you could totally add like heavy whipping cream or, or half and half just to kind of like beef up the broth part a little bit, but I love it. All right, on to my third and final Thrive Market order that I have made. This was two weeks after the previous one. Um, there were many other things in the last order that we talked about, they, but they were all for Daisy. So on to this third and final order. Um, the first thing we're gonna chat about is the Thrive Market, or are the Thrive Market Organic Coconut Chips in Caramel. These are absolutely delicious. Uh, they are seven net carbs a serving, which I feel like for a coconut chip that also is caramely, is not terrible. I wouldn't eat these on their own. They're, they're absolutely delicious. Uh, I would mix them with trail mix, eat them on top of some uh, low carb ice cream, maybe dip some strawberries and some Lily's chocolate and then roll them in the coconut chips. Like I feel like they're just a kind of a good like add on to other things that you might be eating. Uh, because they're caramel, they do have just plain original coconut chips, but because these ones are caramel, they taste candied. Like they, they're like extra sweet extra rich like they're just they're they are delicious all right the 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 i keep doing this and i'm gonna have to put pictures here <laughs> i feel like my hand's gonna be in the way every time i try to upload what the thing is let's just stop um <laughs> next the rick's picks mean beans spicy green bean pickles love i l truly like anything pickled anytime i go out to eat and there's like a charcuterie board and, and on the menu it says like pickled vegetables i'm like oh yeah we're getting that like i will eat any vegetable pickled and these i just glanced at my fridge these are delicious uh, i have been you know weighing them tracking them in my carb manager um i think they're three net car two net carbs two or three net carbs a serving um but they're so good they're they're pickly they're salty they're crunchy um and i have really been enjoying them they are not cheap they're 7.99 a jar uh but that being said they're delicious and i feel like that's kind of a specialty thing like a pickled green bean i don't see those out very often and when i do it's usually from like some fancy schmancy brand that's going to charge 7.99 anyway so it's all good, but if you're into pickled, pickled items, pickled vegetables, you will you will not be sorry that you picked those up. All right, the bonza. Another thing that I've already mentioned in this video, the bonza chickpea pasta. Um, I bought the <coughs> excuse me, I bought the penne version. Love it, absolutely love it. And I will say that not all chickpea pasta is created equal, which I learned at Aldi this past week when I did my um grocery shopping they have their own chickpea pasta there and it's almost double the net carb count uh, as the bonza the bonza is 27 net carbs a serving and the aldi one i found was like 50 48 so like almost double uh this it's it, it's still for for a pasta that's not like pasta you know that's got chickpea flour and chickpeas mushed up in it or however they make it it is so it is so good and honestly coming from someone that's going from keto to low carb um i'm not i'm not i i feel like i'm fortunate in a way because i'm not going from pasta to chickpea pasta i'm going from no pasta <laughs> to chickpea pasta so i really like it i've already repurchased it not on thrive i picked some up at sprouts um 
but I just think it's great. I think it's a great option for those of us that are eating low carb and every now and then want to have some pasta. Definitely not something that I, I will be consuming all the time, um, but to just kind of have in the pantry for when you're craving those carbs I think is great. All right, we only have two things left. Next up are the Hippie Snacks Avocado Crisps uh, in the sea salt variety. I didn't care for these like at all. I think that's like the, the only thing in this video that is kind of like, mm. um, the texture, the like mouth feel of them. It wasn't so much flavor, but I feel like, especially with a lot of low carbon keto foods, like if the texture is not there, it affects the flavor. And I did not like these at all. All right, the last thing, last item, the real coconut, coconut flour tortilla chips in Himalayan pink salt. So these are essentially tortilla chips that are made out of um, coconut flour and they are uh, 12 net carbs for 14 chips, which is not terrible at all. We really liked these and I say we because Cernan really enjoyed them and I was trying to pinpoint um, I say we enjoy them like the bag is gone. I have them in my pantry, but I was trying to pinpoint like what they tasted like and Cernan nailed it. He said they taste like baked Lay's. And I do think that, I think they taste like a sweeter, not sweet, but sweeter, like baked Lay's potato chip. Uh, we really, really like them. I think it's like a tortilla chip substitute. Um, Daisy loves chips. She loves tortilla chips. I have some in her snack cabinet and they are 20, they're 23 net carbs, I think for seven chips where these coconut chips are 12 net carbs for 14 chips. So definitely more carb friendly. Um, and I thought the flavor was there, especially like jazzed up with some guacamole or salsa or using them as nachos that will kind of dull the sweetness and like the coconutty flavor, which I honestly don't really taste. Um, but that will kind of dull it down. I, we really, really liked these. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you today. That's everything low carb or keto friendly that I have purchased from Thrive Market. Clearly win, 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 win. Like I, I personally, Financially can take the 995 hit a month um, even if I don't purchase anything, but I'm more than happy with with the products that they have and what I've tried So I'm going to continue my my membership my subscription to them um, If you are so inclined and you want to check it out my link will be Down below. I'm not I'm sure it's a link, right? It might be a link or a code But it'll be down below to save you 25% on your first order, which is a chunk of change That's like a quarter of what you're gonna buy uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And also, like I mentioned in my last video, in this, the description box of this video will be a ton of resources for you to access to kind of spearhead what's going on in our country right now, whether you want to donate, sign a petition, um, buy books for your children, all of that stuff will be um, linked down below as well. And I will see you guys on Sunday. I will see you on Sunday for an update video. I did not see you this past Sunday, but this Sunday I will see you for a um, low carb week four update, I think. Yeah, I'll see you Sunday, friends. Bye.